What's up, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life, and I've gotten my hand. Well, this is the Moto X Second Gen Pure Edition right here. But what I've really got in my hand, if you can't tell yet, is the Moto X Second Gen Pure Edition running Android 5.0 Lollipop. So if you're following along yesterday afternoon at the site, you will know that Motorola began pushing a soak test to the Moto X Second Gen Pure Edition, and it is indeed Lollipop, it's Android 5.0. So the file is now floating around out there. So if you own a Pure Edition and are not a part of Motorola's feedback network and getting soak tests, you can sideload it and flash it. I just did it. So it's up and running. And think about this for a second. There are two other devices, well, kind of three, on the planet that are running Lollipop right now. Nexus 9, 6, and Player. Only one of those, well, the Player is now available. So obviously two of those three are available. Uh, and now the uh, Moto X is running it as well. Now, granted, this is not for everyone. It's soak test, so it could change, and there could be bugs and things like that, but kind of crazy. Nexus 5, 4, 7, 7, and 10. None of those have Lollipop yet, and Motorola is pushing this out. So, anyways, what we want to do is kind of take a tour, show you guys what we're looking at, what works, uh, what's changed. So far, I haven't run into any bugs, but I've only had this thing flash for about eight hours now. So, uh, first thing, though, you'll notice, obviously, is uh, Moto Display up and working, but there's a tweak there we will show you in just a second. Uh, you can also do the twist for the camera, and uh, the UI has changed slightly, but... Basically, it looks the same. They just kind of changed the uh, way that uh, slider looks a little bit. Uh, the other thing would be Moto Voice is there. So I can say, talk to me, Moto X. And it will do that. And I can do all of that fun stuff. So those three things are there, which are important, right? That's kind of what makes a Moto X a Moto X. But now that we have Lollipop, what else has changed? So if we just go to the lock screen, you have your brand new lock screen, which gives you interactive control over all of your notifications right here on the lock screen. Um, there is your dismiss all button. And we can swipe those away and unlock. You also have your shortcut to camera, so you could swipe that way. Or if you swipe this way, that gets you into your phone. So those shortcuts are there as well. And if we pull down our settings panel, there are all your quick toggles. And again, this looks just like stock Lollipop because that's how Motorola does it. They give you a stock or what they call a pure Android experience. And then they sort of add on top of it. So that's where you get Moto Display and voice and actions and uh, assist. Okay, But you basically have stock Android other than that. You can see the buttons definitely skinned properly down here for stock Android. Uh, we jump in. You do have the brand new app drawer with the white background. Scroll through that. Um, if we swipe up. You can see you get that brand new Lollipop animation for Google Now. So they've added that. Takes you over to Google Now. And this is running the brand new Google Now. I'm sorry, Google Search. I believe it's 5.0. Uh, might not be though, but it's brand new Google Search which, where you have multi-account control. And uh, it's got the hamburger menu slid out just like it would be in Material Design. Oh, you have access to Google Calendar 5.0 now. So if you weren't running a Lollipop device, Previously couldn't download that unless you sideloaded a leaked APK. Now, with Lollipop on here, I can install it. Long press, you get your wallpapers and widgets. And I'll just show you. Wallpapers, you have all these stock Moto X wallpapers. Uh, but if you keep going, you do get all the brand new Lollipop material design wallpapers as well. So those are on there. Oh, and App Switcher. Here's the, uh, the sort of card style uh, App Switcher. So you can scroll through that. Uh, swipe apps away if you want. That's all there. Awesome. Um, let's go ahead and swipe this down. So again, you do have notifications. You can dismiss those and what have you. Swipe this down and again, here's all your uh, quick settings. Um, you do have your battery status up there and you have a shortcut. We have uh, multi-user support now so you can add a guest or add second user accounts and things like that. There's me, the owner. I can tap this and jump into settings. You'll notice all the transitions and animations throughout. It's definitely got that material design flow going. So here's your settings. Definitely looks like stock lollipop. Jump into about, and there you go. Moto X second gen, Android 5.0. There's your build number. System 22.11.5. And you'll notice, um, so the code name of the Moto X second gen is Victara. And then this says Timo Timo, so they're kind of considering the Pure Edition, the T-Mobile Edition, just kind of like they did last year with the unlocked version. But this is the Pure Edition. So we've got that up and running. 
Um, now let's go through and look at some of the different things uh, that have changed a little bit. So if we go into, well, you can go to the Moto app and things don't necessarily look all that different. And here you've still got assist, actions, display, and voice. And from what I can tell in just a few minutes with it, I haven't noticed anything drastically changing there. Um, but if you go into like display, so we do have adaptive brightness now. So gone is automatic brightness, in is adaptive. So that's a new setting. Um, attentive display was there before. We do have ambient display though. So I did a previous tour of ambient display on the Nexus 6, since it's currently the only device that has it. Uh, but Motorola tossed it in with Lollipop. So if we activate this, you'll see first off it says if you disable or if you if you activate this moto display will be disabled do you want to do that and you can say sure okay so what that does is it takes away these gestures so it basically kills off those ir sensors in the front there so you can't do that but you can pick up your device and if it's working properly i would struggle with this especially on camera you can pick up your device and it should light up the clock and it should show your notification so so ambient display is a little bit different than active display or moto display. Um, you don't get that sort of ring um, action going on. And of course it's not working as I'm trying to show you this on video. We'll try one more time for you. Oh, there you can see it lighting up there. So I can interact with this and it kind of lights up and I have access to all my notifications that are on my lock screen. It's basically that black and white version of your lock screen that hopes to save power but still show you information on your lock screen. It's awesome, but as I mentioned in a previous video, there are some trade-offs. You don't have the the uh, the moto actions, the waving, and things like that. It just functions a little bit differently. So that is there though. So you can you can actually choose between moto display and adaptive display, which is which is very cool actually. Especially if if you want to uh, you know test the, out which one of those is your favorite. I'm actually going to leave it off because I like Moto Display. Uh, sound and notifications, you have all your controls there. Uh, you will notice the notification um, sort of settings and options down here. This is where you control your notifications and how they're, um, your applications and how their notifications show up, if you will. Uh, let's see what else is new. We've got the new battery stats going on. So new battery stats, I just woke up, so I've got nothing going on in there, but you've got the all new battery stats. Um, as I showed you earlier, here are your users. So this is where you can control guests and set up secondary user accounts, which is something new in Lollipop for phones anyway. And that is about it for settings. Oh, you know what I didn't show you? I didn't show you that uh, this is actually here. So Lollipop, and if we long press, here is your Lollipop Flappy Bird or whatever you want to call it. There you go, I got one, so I quit. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, if we tap in, let me just show you the keyboard. So it is the brand new keyboard with the light skin on it, and it's fast, it's awesome. So we've got that going on. What else do we have? That may be about it, but it, as you'll notice again, you do have this whole settings. Um, tap on battery, get into there. I'm thinking that's about it. Now obviously I need to play with this more, see if there's other things that have changed, but I just want to show you that Lollipop is up and running on the Moto X already, and uh, it's kind of awesome. Uh, I, I was bragging about the Nexus 6 yesterday and how much fun I was having with it. Now this has Lollipop, I kind of want to jump back onto this just for that smaller custom form factor, but we're still doing Nexus 6 stuff, so we'll come back to this soon enough. Anyways, if you want to flash this, again, the file's out there. You have to have the Pure Edition. If you don't, you could probably brick your phone. So you have the Pure Edition. You want to get you want to get wild. You can install this. Everything seems to be working, but again, I've only tested it for just a short while. Uh, we'll drop some links below so that you guys kind of can uh, dive into that yourselves if you want to. Uh, but for now, we're Droid Life. This is the Moto X 2nd Gen already running Lollipop before most Nexus devices are. Uh, if you have comments, questions, Drop those below. We're Droid Life. Peace.